and what is up guys? Welcome back to Excelsior Sub for another video. So today we are finally going to be unboxing the shipment of cars that I got in last week. I was out of town over the weekend, unfortunately, from like Wednesday to Saturday, but it was a little, it was good to get a little time away, you know? But uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to unbox the shipment before I left because I wanted to make sure I was able to record a video on it. But finally today I was able to unbox the shipment and record a video on it. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys saw the YouTube short that I put up last week. I was just sort of testing out the short feature because uh, it looked pretty interesting. But I ended up getting like 900 views. I, I didn't know that the shorts were uh, that popular, but I guess it is sort of like TikTok. So it is pretty popular with uh, the younger audience. But anyways, I sort of showed off that shipment a little bit in that video, the short little clip, but today we're going to be unpacking all of it. And uh, to be frank with you guys, it was a $1,500 Acceleracers shipment. It was uh, all Gen 2 cars from a seller who just happened to unearth these gigantic lots of Acceleracers cars. I don't know where he got these from or uh, why he didn't pull them out sooner, but uh, he said that he had sort of been filtering through some old boxes, I think that he had in his warehouse or his attic. He's a pretty big seller on eBay. But uh, at first he listed like a gigantic lot of like 45 accelerators cars. Then he listed 36 Gen 2 cars, which is this lot. And then he listed another lot that had like another 35 or 40 accelerators cars. And almost all of those lots had, you know, reverb, flathead fury, no chicane and spec type, but uh, some pretty rare cars. But he listed a lot of all 36 Gen 2 cars. Well, not all 36. Uh, it's not a complete set of Gen 2 cars, but it was 36 total, I should say. And uh, I was kind of looking through it and I was like, man, there's some rare cars in there. I see a... A Spectite, a Chicane, uh, the RD08. There were some pretty rare cars in there, but uh, it was just missing a couple off of being a full set. So he had it listed for like $1,500 as the starting bid on the auction. And I was like, man, that is expensive. I was like, I don't know if it's worth that much, but I sent an offer of like $1,400 or 1380, I can't remember. And uh, he did accept it. And uh, with tax and everything, it came out to right at like $1,500. So that's what we paid for this shipment of 36 Gen 2 Accelerators cars. But the blisters and the photos looked absolutely incredible. So uh, I know pictures can be deceiving, but I'm really hoping that they're going to be in tip top condition when we finally unbox it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's go ahead and unbox this shipment, shall we? And here is the big mystery shipment of Gen 2 cars, guys, that I showed off on the YouTube shorts. I uh, was just sort of messing around with YouTube shorts. And I kind of, I like the format, so I'll probably be posting some of those here and there. But uh, just, just to sort of like an add in with some of the videos. But today we're going to be pulling out all these cars. And let's just take a moment to appreciate how well packaged these are. It looks like he bubble wrapped each individual car. He's got them, uh, he's got them packaged fantastic in here. It honestly kind of looks like how uh, the factory sealed set looked when I ripped that open. And that was a long time ago, though. I wish I would have held on to that for sure. But a uh, huge shout out to him for packaging, the, packaging these well so I didn't have to worry about them being strewn around when I opened the box. This is absolutely professional packaging. Absolutely take notes, guys. If you are shipping out any sort of accelerations or carded products, this is the way to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and start pulling these cars out of here if I can. Let's see here. I don't want them. So they are all, this looks like an Excel charge battle spec. Tell you what, I'm gonna pull all of these out of here and sort of unrip them out of the bubble wrap. And then we will take a look at them because uh, you're not gonna be able to get the full effect of these. So I'm gonna pull all these out and cut the bubble wrap and then we'll take a look at what we've got in here. Let me tell you what guys, it took like an hour to unwrap all these out of the bubble wrap because uh, he taped them so well that it, I, I've been sawing through tape for the past hour basically. But all of these cards, I have to say, came out looking almost mint like unbelievably good looking cards like i didn't even think it was possible um not all of them are like i'd probably say about two thirds of them are in mint condition but they all just they have like almost no creasing there's a couple that have bends in the corners but for the most part these are the best condition gen 2 accelerators i have ever seen in my life i honestly didn't think it was possible for accelerators cars to be in this good of condition anymore but uh they look absolutely incredible i would love to know i actually shot him a message on ebay I would love to know how he had these stored so that um, they stayed in such good condition. But let's go for the shock value reveal. It's a total of 36 Gen 2 Accelerators cars, and there they are. This is all 36 cars. We're going to go through and take a look at all of them. And just to clarify, there's 36 cars in this lot, but this is not a complete set of Gen 2 cars. There's a bunch of duplicates, and there's a couple of rare ones missing, such as Strip Metal Power Rage and... You know, actually, Strip Metal Power Age might be the only one that we are missing. I'm not 100% sure. You guys will have to let me know in the comments. So let's go ahead to this first row here. We have the Strip Metal Series Iridium, the Realm Series RDO5, and the ones on this bottom row are the ones that are in sort of worse condition. But uh, even in the worst condition, they still look better than all the other ones that I was selling. 
Accelo Charged Anthracite. We have the Accelo Charged Pile Driver, Acceleron Spine Buster. I haven't had this one yet. That's pretty cool. The Realm Series RDO5, and there is lots of variations with these. Like this has uh, the solid green drone wheels, and this RDO5 has the light green wheels that are kind of see-through. Pretty cool variations on these. Continuing on, we have the Realm Series RDO6, the droned Flathead Fury. Let me tell you what, this car looks gorgeous. I never imagined it would look this good. Then we have the re-release baseline. This is a pretty rare car, guys. Um, it has the light blue windshield and windows. It looks absolutely sick, but it is definitely a pretty good looking car. Uh, I honestly prefer this, the, the crystal blue windows to the, the deep blue that the 05 release had. Let's move on to the second row. We've got the Acceleron Hollowback, the Realm Series Jackhammer, the Realm Series RDO6 again, the Team Colors RDO9, then a Team Colors Chicane with the crystal blue windshield. Such a sweet, sweet car. And I mean, just look at the blister on these cars, guys. Uh, there is, it's just almost perfect. I mean, there's some tiny creasing down here in the corner. Let me see if I can get the light there. Tiny crease down in this corner, but for the most part, like absolutely pristine. And uh, the other thing that's remarkable is that almost none of these have a nasty bend to them. I mean, there's a little bit of a bend to all of them because it's just the way they package these. But uh, Gen 2 cars are notorious for just uh, the back of the blister leaning forwards. And it almost gives a lot of them like a hunchback look. But all of these look like they were, came straight off of a shelf in 2005. They look unbelievable. Then we've got the Excel Charged Battle Spec. I keep getting distracted. We've got another droned Flathead Fury. This blister is a little more beat up. Then we have the re-release Nitrium car. Looks super sweet. Then the Holy Grail, the Cosmic Realm Series Spectite with the little Cosmic Realm track on it and the Realm symbol. What an unbelievable looking car. And I do think that this is one of probably the top three hardest Gen 2 cars to find along with the Strip Metal Power Rage and probably the Excel Charged RDO8. I'd say those are probably the top three, but I could be wrong. This is just an unbelievable looking car. I've never seen one in person before. Moving on, we have another Excel Charge Series Battle Spec, another Realm Series Jackhammer, a second Team Color Chicane. Then we have the Team Color Series Synchro. This car is so pretty to look at. The paint really gleams in the light. Then we have another Excel Charged Anthracite, the re release RDO6. This is pretty cool. And uh, the only difference between this and the 05 RDO6s is, is that. This front, uh, I don't know what you call that, a fender, is actually uh, painted black, it's not silver. And the rest of the car is actually sort of a, a matte black paint. Then we have a droned Ratified, one of my favorite models. I really do love the, uh, the paint job on this car. It's amazing how it looks so much better than the 05 version. Then we have the re-release Hollowback, the Acceleron Covelite, one of my personal favorites. And let's get onto this last row here. We have another Accel Charged Anthracite, another Team Color Synchro, then we have another Realm Series RDO5. This one has the drone wheels. Then we have a droned baseline. This car looks unbelievable. I've never seen this one in person before. Then we've got some Strip Metal Love. We have a Strip Metal Series Riveted, one of the best looking cars in this series, and a Strip Metal RDO2 to go along with it. And then another one of the big three, we have the Excel Charge Series RDO8. This car looks absolutely incredible. I love the paint job. The blue and the green really go together well in this car. Then we have the Droned Nitrium and the Strip Metal Series Iridium to wrap it up. That is our big $1,500 haul of Gen 2 Acceleracers cars. They just look absolutely incredible all laid out like that. I just wish I could have found these on shelves as a kid because I would have definitely bought all of them. They just look incredible. And uh, just like last time, almost all of these are for sale. Uh, they're going to be first come first serve like usual i'm going to leave my email down in the description of the video if you're interested in any of these shoot me an email um, i normally sort of give my youtube subscribers the first shot at items like this and i'll sell just about all of them that uh, anybody's interested in uh, before i go and list the rest of them on ebay just like last time so if you're interested in any of these shoot me an email and we can work out a price and some shipping details but just like last time it is going to be first come first serve so uh if you wait a little while to email me there's always a chance that someone else has jumped ahead of you and requested one of these cars but this is the big shipment that we got today and once uh, you guys have sort of looked through these and i've got some orders from some of you guys i will probably list the rest of them on ebay but i'll be sure to let you guys know when they hit ebay for the first time and that is going to wrap it up for this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of these cars i had never seen a lot of them in person before 
um, you know, the Spectite, the RDO8, the Flathead Fury, uh, some of the 2005 re-release cars like Nitrium, RDO6. Uh, I've never seen those in person before. They look really sick in those blisters. And uh, I am just still, I'm stunned at what good condition those blisters are in. That guy took unbelievable care of his cars. Huge shout out to him once again. But, uh, but that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Like I said before, email is going to be down in the description. Shoot me an email if you're interested in any of these cars and we will work something out. But as far as today goes, that's going to do it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the Accelerator Sub for more Accelerators related content. We just hit 600 subs a couple days ago, so we have the 600 subscriber giveaway coming on Wednesday. That's going to be lots of fun. And yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.